we're having a look now at why diamonds sparkle. Now they sparkle because of total internal reflection, refraction and dispersion. Here is an uncut diamond. In other words, it's come out of the ground and they've given it a wash. So it's all nice and clean. So the next stage is to decide how best to cut that diamond in such a way as to get maximum amount of jewellery out of it. So here is the plan. The next thing to do is to cut it. And they use saws and other devices to shape the diamond. This is what a shape here that is known as the perfect cut. And the reason for this is that it produces maximum amount of sparkle. The light coming directly from the outside and striking here at a right angle does undergo refraction in the sense that it, the velocity of the light is changed as it as comes through the diamond. This of course has a higher refractive index than the air outside. But when it gets to here, the critical angle is exceeded. So we have total internal reflection and the light then is reflected across to here. Again, the critical angle is exceeded. So again, we have total internal reflection. Passes out here and out the surface here. And again, we have refraction here. But what happens there is that the wavelength gets longer. So that's one feature of the perfect cut. Now the other cuts that you can have, are, one is called the deep cut. And you can see here that this uh, section here is longer. As the light comes in, again in this first instance, we have total internal reflection. But what happens here is that we have refraction. The light comes out here and it is refracted away from the normal. And so with a deep cut, we don't get the maximum amount of sparkle. Now, the same applies to a shallow cut. The light comes in here, strikes this surface here. And again, we don't get total internal reflection. We have refraction. And so light passes out here and might hit a finger or something. So the other feature of the deep cut is light which strikes the, the side here. It's, it's cut, as you can see here with this side. This light here, when it gets here, the different colours, the different frequencies of light uh, undergo different degrees of refraction because these colours have different frequencies. So when they get here, they disperse. So we have the dispersion of light. And again, we've got total internal reflection of those different colours. And it reaches this surface here. And again, we have refraction we have refraction away from the normal and each of these colors is refracted to a different extent so that creates a colorful appearance on the uh, on the uh, on the ring or or the diamond as you look at it so the uh, typical uh, wedding ring and diamonds are used quite frequently now for uh, wedding rings has in fact 57 facets. They talk about the 57 facet cut, which means 57 different uh, surfaces here. When the uh, ring is moved about, then we get sometimes we get black or no color, sometimes we get um, different colors, sometimes we get a white, bright light coming from it. So this is what we've got then when we've got a, a, a diamond that is producing a lot of sparkles. Again here with this diagram here you can see light coming in here undergoing total internal reflection and uh, coming out the front. So this is the perfect cut, gives us most colours, a deep cut, gives us some so also does a shallow cut, but it's the perfect cut that is the most valuable.